Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft and Nintendo 3DS Edition Skyblock Let's Play video. And this is part 11 of my Let's Play series. And as you can tell, I'm starting off down in the Hostel mob farm, and that's because a new mob that I've never seen in this world before has spawned, and that is a witch. So, before I kill the witch, let's get rid of the creeper at least. If I even can, there we go. And I want, I want to dig in there to grab any loot that might have dropped. Yeah, there is some rotten flesh in there and stuff, so I'm going to have to grab that, but... The witch is holding a potion, and every now and then it pops up, but now it's not for some reason. It was before, but I don't seem to see it anymore. That kind of sucks. It's probably not going to drop anything, to be honest. Oh, it's, it's holding it. Oh, it's still holding it. Ah, oh, it just went away. Is it only when the witch holds the potion that it actually drops the potion? I'm not really sure. Oh, oh, it just dropped something. Was that the potion? Oh, it was a spider eye. I mean, I could have kept, like, you know, exiting out and leaving the game just so I could potentially get the potion, but, I mean, it's a healing potion. So, I mean, yeah, that's going to be helpful, but in a sky block, eh, not really. Oops, <laughs> not really all that useful. I was just looking down to see if anything else was there, but, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, an instant healing potion is not really all that useful. I did put the water back up here, that's why I was down there trying to get some mobs, but... Yeah, and also, so the two things I kind of want to focus on today is putting torches on the... Ooh, got a zombie with chain armor up there. I don't know if I want to place torches up there, though, because it seems like a lot... Oh, my God. Okay. Definitely was not expecting that. Well, goodbye, creeper. You're going to explode midair. So I don't know if I should place torches on top of this just to avoid mob spawns. But at the same time, it's just an extra source of potential revenue from mobs. So maybe I won't do that. But off camera, I did make some charcoal because I want to um, go ahead and place some torches around here because there is just so many dark spots and mobs just spawn everywhere. Also, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Rustico from a previous video. And of course, the cow is blocking exactly what I was trying to show. Yeah, get out of there, cow. So he suggested to put a cobblestone wall beneath the piece of cobblestone that I mine out in the generator. So that way, every time I I'm not gonna break it now because the water is not here. But every time I break it, I don't have to worry about jumping. Because whenever I broke a block, I always had to jump so I don't fall. So all I have to do now is just hold ZR pretty much until the block's broken. And God, these cows are really getting in the way today. It's like they're really irritating me. So, yeah, anyway. So let's grab these torches. But yeah, I figured this would be a really, really good idea. And it actually ended up working out very well. So, shoutouts to him. I'm going to go ahead and start placing the torches everywhere. First of all, in my house is the most important spot. Because mobs love to spawn in here. I mean, obviously, it's a dark space, so of course they do. I'll place some around my house, because I did have issues with mob spawns around my house in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be a little bit generous with my torches here, because I can always make more. So it's not that big of a deal if I run out. So let's go ahead and place two on this side, because I did not do that. And that should do it. Now, there's got to be an easy way to get up here without mobs bothering me. I want to make some sort of staircase system, because obviously it's at a higher level. So, But at the same time, it's super dangerous, especially doing this over the edge like this with that zombie right there. So I'm almost wondering, what if I just make like two stairs just like that, and then I place like a wall next to it just like this? to kind of protect myself. And I think I have some cobblestone walls that I can use here. Yeah, I have six. So I'll just go ahead and place a few here, place a few here, just like the other staircase. And then I'll place two right here. And then whenever I want to go up, all I gotta do is just place a block right there. And now whatever mo- oh. That was kind of stupid of me. <laughs> Knocked it right off. But that's okay. I mean, I know more mobs are going to spawn here eventually. I mean, as you can tell, a skeleton burned. And that's another thing, too. If any, like, zombies or skeletons spawn up here, they'll burn. You know, when it becomes daytime. So all I got to do is just come up here and collect the loot that they drop. So actually, it's a very nice system, I will say. Another thing I could do is I can make the staircase go up. Touch this, and then I could add a gate here. So that way, I don't think any mobs would be able to get in if I do that. So I might just go ahead and do that now that it's day. This is like the perfect opportunity to do something like that. So let's go ahead and bring all of these blocks over. And then I will 
bring over the cobblestone wall, which I'm currently out of. So let's go make a few more. And I also want to start on the second floor today, but I wasn't expecting myself to do all this stuff today. So this is just kind of like an extra thing. But all this is doing for me is just helping me in the future. You know, getting a lot more mob loot, basically. Or I could just place a cobblestone wall over the front like that. Whenever I need to come up to get mobs, I can just always break the cobblestone wall. You know? So, I mean, that's not a bad idea either. But then again, you know, mobs could, of course, fall down. So I might just go ahead and, like, square this off. Just so mobs don't, like, jump down on accident. Or not on accident, but on purpose trying to kill me. So that's kind of what I want to do there. And then, when I come down here, as you can tell... Well, they're still going to be able to fall either way. Actually, they may not. The only ones that may fall are creepers. So maybe I could just place... Because um, I should be able to break this, no problem. Yeah. Should be able to easily break that. But, yeah, I'm not really sure how safe this is going to end up being. Because if I just place a cobblestone wall right there, I don't think any mobs will be able to fall into this area. I don't think any will be able to. So, I don't know. We'll We'll end up just waiting and seeing what happens here. In fact, I may actually break this and place it one forward, like right here, over the stairs. That might be even safer, so I don't think any mobs are going to be able to come down from there. So I could replace that with a, a gate, so that way it doesn't annoy me as much every time I try to go up and, you know, access this area. I don't have to worry about breaking the cobblestone wall every time and wasting durability on my pickaxe. I can just, oh, I cannot even, wait. So I can place a gate here, but I can't place a gate here. Okay, there's got to be an explanation for that, obviously. I mean, maybe because it's over a stair, and that's probably why. But I mean, I don't know, we'll have to wait. I mean, obviously, mobs can't jump over gates, neither can players. So, I mean, this should be okay, I think. So we're just going to leave it like that. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start work on my second floor. Now, the gap in my ceilings for the skylight, which <laughs> is obviously not going to happen because I just cannot get enough sand. Because I don't think there's any sand left at the little biome. I mean, I do have two left. But if I go over to the sand thing, I wonder how much is actually left. Oh, wait. Looks like there is actually sand here. Oh, no. That's co- Oh, wait. That is sand. Okay. So I actually may have enough sand to pull this off. And then I can save a few pieces for the cactus, which, again... Well, I haven't really said this at all, but cactus, I mean, what am I going to use cactus green for? I mean, there's no use really for cactus itself. And cactus green, I mean, I could make green wool, I guess. But what's like the point of that? You know, like, I don't know. I don't think cactuses are going to be all that useful for me, but whatever. <laughs> I think another grass spread off camera, but I'm not really sure. It's getting very close. So hopefully... You know, obviously once it reaches this piece, so it only has to spread three more blocks, I'll have to take these blocks and put it underneath these. But I'm not going to do that yet until the three have spread, which could very well take another couple of hours. Yeah, it could actually take that long. So that's why I might just, I try to AFK after every video in hopes to get as much as I can. But, God, I need to work in my house, not looking at mobs. There is none anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So all I'm going to do today is just start on the second floor. And all the second floor is going to hold is just my bedroom. Because the first floor is going to be kind of like the utility room, crafting table furnace. I'll basically move everything over here and there. So I don't have to worry about it over here. That's kind of what I want to do. The only thing I'll keep down there is probably just the crafting table. So that way I have a crafting table everywhere I go. So let's get started here. Now as far as the way you get up to the second floor oh wait this is eight blocks so one two three four five i'll have enough for that and then six seven eight oh i have just enough sand to do this like i said cactus just is not useful at all so i think i'll be okay i don't think i'll need to worry about very much here when it comes to that so unless i could just add eight you know keep two add eight and then shorten the uh the length of the skylights that way i'm not doing it as long that's probably the better option to be honest so we're just going to go ahead and do that but let's just go ahead and get started now i have 19 pieces of cobble used up a lot for this because i had like basically a stack when i started this video so this is the roof obviously now when i come up here there is slabs here so what i might end up doing is i might just how would it look if i put the i don't know like i want to continue the cobblestone wall upwards so that's another kind of thing I want to continue 
at the very least. Actually, I may reduce this down to six. So technically, I only need to cook six pieces of glass. So I may have to go down and, eh, who cares? I mean, I still have two available to me, so it's not like it really matters. Um, you know, that'll be plenty for, you know, cactus in the future. So there's that. And then I'll go ahead and make a few planks and then get those ready to go. And then I, I'll just go ahead and place those right here. Yeah, I think this will look pretty good. And, and then in the corners, too, I'll place the, uh, you know, the logs. So let's go ahead and start those at least. So bring them up by two on each corner, just like this. Of course, this one needs to be a log. I think I did the same thing on the other corner. So if we go over to, oh, no, I didn't actually, okay. Now, cobblestone wall goes up. It's gonna be like kind of free floating there, but that's all right. And then I'll go ahead and reuse the remaining logs to make more planks. So that way I can go ahead and just finish up the first layer of the wall, and then start the second one. Now you might be wondering how I'm gonna get up here, and that is a really good question. Because the only way I'm going to is if I place some sort of ladder system, like right here, you know, because this is the corner of the room. So I'd have to, you know, break this away, make a post going down. You know what, that might be exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and place down some cobblestone here, and then I'll place down ladders that go straight down from there. And then I'll go ahead and like decorate the sides and stuff so it doesn't look like super ugly, just like this. Kind of like a design like that. So yeah, it doesn't look like super ugly. And, you know, it allows me to eliminate the need for stairs. So it actually saves a decent amount of space too. So before I conclude out this video, let me go ahead and grab the glass and the furnace, which should be 100% complete. Oh, that actually worked out really well because I ran out of, you know, wood that I put in the furnace earlier. So this actually works in my favor very well because then I can actually just take two blocks of sand out. Oh, I just burned them. Did I seriously just do that? Did I really just burn the sand? I think so. That just happened. Oh, there's a spider here. Okay, well, that's random. I don't know why a spider would spawn when it's pretty bright over here like this. Unless if it spawned over there and climbed the fence, I guess. I mean, that's the only thing I can figure. There's something else over there, too, I just saw. Was that something? I don't think so. <laughs> it's probably just the fire from the uh, torches. But that's okay. I mean, I still have two left over. That'll be enough if I ever want to grow cactus. You know, I can. I have sand left over, so it works. So there you go. Now, if it rains, I'm protected. It's not complete. Oh, it is even. Never mind. It actually is even. I was about to say, oh, it's not even, but it actually is. So, yep, that's going to go ahead and conclude it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.